So the DOE has been, since 2005, been monitoring both populations of parrots, the Grand Cayman Parrot and the Cayman Brac Parrot. And they've been doing so in cooperation with the US Fish and Wildlife Service, mainly Dr. Frank Rivera Milan. So it's a continuous program, something that we do every other year on each island. So before and after reproduction surveys uh, this year on Cayman Brac, and next year we'll do before and after reproduction surveys on Grand Cayman. So this year we've been doing it with the Terrestrial Research Officer team, so myself and my colleague Jessica Harvey, in cooperation with Dr. Frank Rivera Milan from the US Fish and Wildlife Service. These monitoring programs are very important, both to gain information for our management actions, so what steps can we take to make sure we don't lose an endemic subspecies, a species that's effectively found nowhere else in the world. So it's very, very important because these small island endemics are very vulnerable to environmental change to things like uh, natural disasters and, and that sort of thing. So it's, it's really very important to carry out and have a finger on the pulse uh, these studies every year. Some of the things that we're finding is that the parrots have a more clumped distribution. So they, the dispersion parameter B is what it tells us, is the parrot population randomly distributed? Is it evenly distributed or is it very clumped? And unfortunately we're finding that it is very clumped, which means that the parrots use fewer areas of the islands to feed, to breed and to, to hang out basically, which means there's a lot of areas that are no longer suitable. So something we can look at as managers is how do we create more suitable areas? How do we not put all our eggs in one basket in various places like East End, for example?